thank you so much for stopping by. This is my first ever YouTube video. It's extremely sorry for the crappy video editing. I promise it will be better next time. So since this is the first time India has an X-Face Awards, I wanted my entry look to have some Indian element to it. And while I was doing this research, this mythological character of Jatayu really interested me. And I was trying to go for uh, a look that was a bit different from what I'd already done. So I hope you guys stay tuned to the end of the video to see the little something extra happening. So I'm starting off with a primer and a moisturizer and spreading that all over my face really well. Next I went in with a cheap uh, kids paint as a base to my cream foundation and I wish I didn't go for this step since it dried out my skin so much. I don't know why I thought it would help me in getting a better coverage. Next up I mixed two colors, um, a lighter color foundation mixed with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to get that really white milky uh, color. Now at this point you can already see me struggling with blending the foundation concoction and I think that's partly because of the base that I used. Uh, now I don't have all the clips for, for this look since my battery kept dying and my SD card needed to be emptied every 5-10 to 10 minutes and I guess that's what happens when you wait till the last day of the submission and that's the first time you're doing the video editing. Anyways, uh, so at this point, um, you can see my contour is done and I will be darkening that later in the video. I've started to sculpt my no my, my beak sorry, with scar wax which I made at home by using petroleum jelly along with some corn flour and regular flour. And I'm just trying to perfect that. Now this look almost took me an entire day excluding the prep work the feather cap and the shoulder wings which took me another entire day. So uh, by, the, by the time I started um, doing my intro video, uh, my beak had kind of started to get a bit more wonkier than how, what it was when we started off. So yeah, that was that. Uh, now at this point I'm just cleaning up the lines along the beak and yeah, I'm just adding some more dimension with some uh, eyeshadow on a blending brush. Here I'm just adding a bit more coverage before I lay down the sketch for the feathers uh, with the NYX lip liner in EVA. Now I was originally going for a collar piece with real feathers but I just got really inspired by Hanseline and drew the piece with, which adds a bit more character to the look but this really look took so long to perfect, I mean not even kidding. Now I'm just cleaning up the lines and lightening my eyebrows, adding some more depth before going in with eyeshadow to add a crease since I have hooded eyes. But nothing crazy, I didn't want this look to have a, a, a big mess around my eyes. I just wanted to have very basic eyes and just have a really chiseled look. And now on to the tedious part of this entire video and that's sticking the rhinestones that I picked up in different sizes along with some tiny TD pearls and glitter. Now I used the eyelash glue to stick them on.
Now since this look is actually inspired by a wounded Chitayu, I went ahead and added some scar with clear latex and scar wax along with some cotton. Here I just added some contact lenses, added the headpiece and a shoulder ring which are both made by me. So for my headpiece, I started off using my swimming cap, put that around my head, I painted it white and then started to cover it with feathers. Now what I did not realize was a swimming cap is usually made of silicone or rubber. So when I took that off, the cap kind of just shrunk in size immediately and that just made the paint chip off and the feathers just fell. So that was an utter fail. Next I moved to a balloon, I wanted to use that as a, as a template for my ball cap and put layers of latex to finally just peel it off and use that as a cap. Now after hour and a half and four layers of, I mean I think it was four to five layers of latex, I kind of became very impatient so I started using a blow dryer and obviously the balloon just gave away. So that was the second fail. Lastly, I think I didn't have any other option but I just took a shower cap, put it around my head, wrap it up with a sellotape so that I forms a structure of my head and use that to stick the feathers to it. So I stuck the smaller feathers out on the front of the cap and the longer ones towards the nape of my, of the, of my neck. Oh lord, that is some serious dramatization that I've seen in a very long time. That just goes on to explain why I should never try my hand in acting. Anyways, uh, if you stayed till the end of this video, thank you so much for keeping up with this amateur stuff. I really appreciate it. Until next time, bye. Take care.